Well, he was considered a pioneer in greater Minnesota broadcasting. Yesterday, we shared the news with you about the death of former owner and Paul Bunyan broadcasting manager, Lou Baron. Tonight, our Josh Peterson takes a look at Baron's career and the impact he had on area communities. Continuous Country, KB 101. Such a unique mix of, uh, of compassion, yet a great business sense and, and fun energy. That would be the first two words that come to mind. Chances are that if you're listening to a radio station somewhere in greater Minnesota, you are likely listening to a station that was championed by Lou Baron. For over 40 years, Lou worked in broadcasting, starting at KDWB FM in Minneapolis and Doubleday in New York. But it was the investment in a small radio station in Bemidji, Minnesota, where he made his mark. They looked at it and liked it. And so this became their first acquisition in their new uh, company of smaller market radio stations. Lou Baron quickly expanded his company to other communities around greater Minnesota, raising the bar and setting the standard for radio excellence. Audio excellence, community excellence, and, and I think we're still, we're still striving to grow on top of that and, and do even better. Um, and that really is from from Luberon. That standard of excellence resonates through the hallways of the radio station. Over the years, the many awards won by the broadcasting company sit proudly on display in the main lobby. But what Lou Braun felt was most important was community. It, it wasn't all wasn't always our idea, but we were always he was always yes, we want to do this to help the community and would give them all kinds of assistance, whatever it might be. Even though Lou Braun retired and sold his radio stations in 2015. That spirit of community involvement is one of the long-lasting legacies that will always remain. I hope that it's whether people know it or not, in each one of these towns, he leaves each one of the markets he worked in a better place to be and a better place to live. In Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. Lou Baron is survived by his wife and son. His funeral will be held February 1st, Wednesday, February 1st at St. Mary's Episcopal Church in St. Paul at 11 a.m. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.